Artists working in this studio space in the mountain town of Marshall are often interrupted. Often I do have people that come to my studio knock at the door because this is one of the classrooms that they attended. Marshall High Studios was once populated by students of all ages. I've got people that come in and they they remind me that this was like the science room and they like tell me what their teacher was like. Now artists create where kids got their education. I do make backpacks after all, so it does sort of seem to fit. After a flood, the Marshall School, built in 1926, sat abandoned for more than two decades. Demolition was imminent when Rob Poulian stepped in and bought it. It wasn't so much the saving of an old building, it was more in the repurposing. The building lent itself to space for artists. Wood floors, high ceilings, there wasn't anything that wasn't really nice about them as far as being studios. It has a really sweet feeling with the huge windows and the wide hallways. 24 studios were fashioned inside the old school. It was kind of a, a situation of if you build it or if you save it, they will come. There was no assumption that it would fill up. I guess there was just this naive belief that it would, and it did. The studios were filled within a couple of months and have generally remained occupied since the place opened in 2007 like breathes new life into an old, beautiful space. It brings a lot of visitors, it enriches the local economy. Marshall High Studios sit just a short walk from downtown, literally in the middle of the French Broad River. It's an island in the river. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful and so conducive to just being in a state to do something really creative and cool. Amber Jensen moved to Marshall because of the studio space. On an island, in a small town, like with views of the French Broad River. It's like the most idyllic place I could imagine working in. The place is just about perfect for working artists. I'm happier with being here than I think I would be somewhere else. At the same time, Marshall still has a connection to its past. I sense that the community really values having this, this school here. It feels kind of like the heart of, of Marshall, frankly. 